is just an excerpt from chapter 47. He speaks about our divine origin, our hidden history. Just going to verse three, it says his father and his family were second. Then came the word Ethiopia, which means the demarcation line of the dominion of Amexum, the first true and divine name of Africa, right? Something is hidden. The first true and divine name of Africa, Amexum, right? The dominion of Cush, Northeast and Southeast Africa, Northwest and Southwest was his father's dominion of Africa. In later years, many of their brethren from Asia and the Holy Lands joined them. The Moabites from the land of Moab who received permission from the pharaohs of Egypt to settle and inhabit Northwest Africa. They were the founders and are the true possessors of the present Moroccan empire with their Canaanite, Hittite and Amorite brethren who sojourned from the land of Canaan seeking new homes. Their dominion and inhabitation extended from Northeast and Southwest Africa across the great Atlantis, even unto the present North, South and Central America and also Mexico and the Atlantis islands before the great earthquake, which caused the great Atlantic Ocean. Now this, just in case anybody's like, what, what does that mean, right? This is speaking about our ancestry, saying that the Moabites, right? Along with the Canaanites, Hittite, and the Amorite brethren, extended their dominion from Northeast and Southwest Africa across the great Atlantis, the great Atlantis, the name for the, that became this thing that became the Atlantic um, ocean, right? They, they were in this part of Africa, but also into North, South and Central America, right? Mexico and the Atlantis islands. And that they've been over here since before the great earthquake which caused the Atlantic Ocean. So this is explaining the dominion, right? The possession, the property or the, the land that, that our ancestors had, and also a time frame. This happened way before co colonization, right? So the people are related. And it since this happened before that earthquake, which caused the Atlantic Ocean, for us, this is Northwest Africa or Northwest of Mexico. We are the true possessors of the present Moroccan empire because it's right here where we stand. All right, and I'm gonna show you why that claim, it's not just, these aren't just words in a book. Once you have this understanding you can now go back and trace yourself through history. This is one of the things we're going to do here to make sense out of this. And this is good for anyone, um, whether you're a more, you've been studying for a while, or even people who are new to this, because we're going to trace ourselves back through history right here. All right. But I want you to hear this first so that as we trace ourselves back through history, you'll understand, okay. So this was what this man named uh, Noble Drew Ali, this is what he brought to our people in the 1920s, right? You see this black and white photo, 1928. This is what, and I don't, I don't even know if he graduated high school, right? He, he probably didn't, I mean, I don't know because there's no records of it. So he probably didn't even go to high school. And yet... This is the, inform um, the information and the understanding that he's bringing to our people that, hey, you know, this is who our ancestors are. And if they've been over here, even in the Americas, since before the earthquake that caused the Atlantic Ocean, he's letting people know that the rivers are man-made. The Nile River was dredged and made by the ancient pharaohs of Egypt in order to trade with the surrounding kingdoms. Also, the Niger River was dredged by the great pharaoh of Egypt in those ancient days for trade, and it extended eastward from the river Nile, westward across the great Atlantic. It was used for trade and transportation that extending westward across the great Atlantic. This may explain why within the Atlantic Ocean, right, you have the ocean streams, these underwater river currents. And so the, the sailors, they knew this. 
I mean, they still know it today to get on that current and it'll ride them to their destination faster. It'll get them to where they're going faster. So there's underwater river currents in the ocean. And so he's saying that this is man-made. And so this river was created. And when the earthquake happened, which caused the great Atlantic, it just stretched across, across this gap, you know, that was filled in by the water that became the Atlantic Ocean. It was still there. The river's still there. It's just underwater now. And it was used for trade and transportation. So trade was taking place not only within the huge continent of Africa, but also across the Atlantic with the Americas. And this is why you will have corn, right, being talked about in ancient Egypt. And corn is important because corn is indigenous to the Americas. Like, how do they even know about this? If they're limited to that one part of the world, they ain't even have the knowledge of how to um, travel across the ocean. How would they know about corn? And so there's other other crops and things, too, that they um, had in different parts of the world. And this is because the trade was taking place before the Europeans were able to um, participate in international trade. That's how come you had this cross-cultural thing going on. Um, they also have the cocaine mummies, which you can you can do some research on on your own. 